In part three of the interview, we discuss new features we want to see in the game, how we plan for an attack, and then we end on a fun note. Uh, so here it is. I want to focus a little bit on something that I always like talking about and I think the viewers um, enjoy most, which is uh, the new features to the game. What, what do we want to see added to the game? And uh, is it, whether it's a game mode, you know, we have, you know, maybe people, you know, too soon, you know, we had the, uh, the night mode come, the builder base, but is it a new type of game mode? Is it the little things like interface? It can be anything really, but improvements to the game, it seems like this is always a good forum to talk about it. I'll let you go ahead and um, do you have anything that comes to mind right away that you want to see added or changed uh, in Clash of Clans? Yeah, I mean, there, there's definitely a few things. Uh, if you, w When you first mentioned game mode, obviously my attention went straight to the night village, night mode, builder hall, you know, whatever you want to refer to it as. And it seemed like when it first came out, most people that I talked to couldn't stand it. You know, they just did not like it at all. Then it kind of grew on them. Everyone was playing it. You had the trophy pushing going on. This is fun. Upgrading, da, da, da. Yeah. And now it seems like I just realized, I mean, I'm just being completely honest here. I, I almost forgot about it. I like don't play I, it at all either. I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I know you made a few videos on it. I made a few videos on it as well. And it, it you know, it was, it was kind of fun, but I literally just kind of forgot about it. And it's nothing against like Supercell or anything like that, but it, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of seemed like a flop for me. I don't know if anybody watching this or listening to this is a huge, you know, night mode person. Shout out to you if you like it. But me and the majority of the people that I know that play this game just kind of forgot about. It. I don't even see the boat. Like when I'm like, I just have not. But I was playing it pretty hard. I mean, I was playing it pretty hard for a while, and literally just kind of forgot. I to bring that back. I think they need to make a change to the loot. Uh, that loot. I know they had the time machine or the the clock tower nerf um which i know pissed a lot of people off but definitely they need to do something where you don't just do your three attacks because if you want to play it hard uh yeah. unless you're spending a lot of gems um you really can't you can't play it how some people want to so there would be that one thing uh that i would definitely want to change that i know people have talked about for years is something as simple it's more of a quality of life <clears throat> but something like the scroll bar, you know, when you're doing these attacks where you're, say you're attacking on a phone, you got more than 12 troops and spells combined, you know, you have to start scrolling. Sometimes you can't even see your spells. Right. Uh, you know, that can get, you know, that can, that can, you know, that can get pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, so definitely something um, that so, I think could change with the scroll bar. So troops disappearing you after you deploy all of them? Exactly. You click that. You click that troop bar, and or you click that troop, and it goes away. It's on the map. You see it. You don't need to see a, a grayed out. It's more of a quality of life, but would definitely make things better. Uh, so that would be one thing uh, that you know I definitely want to see uh, a change to. If they want to get the night mode back in track. They 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 got They got to do something with the night night mode definitely. Mm -hmm. And I, I think part of it is where we are in the war community, people are playing that so much that the uh, builder base gets swept under the rug a little bit. You know, it's irrelevant in no time. But I think a lot of people do enjoy it right now. So I, I want to stay open to that. But I think changes could be made to just make it something that everyone uh, wants to do. Um, but in terms of that update as a whole, I have to say the builder base was a, a good addition to Clash of Clans. And I have to say that because it's in the small print of my contract. <laughs> uh, no, <I'm> just, <laughs> just, uh -huh. just joking on that one. Um, no, I think it was an okay <laughs> update and it just got a little bit overhyped. Um, but that's how updates are. Uh, if you don't play it, don't forget to collect your gems from the gem mine. At least upgrade that so you get a few gems every day. Um, one thing I want to point out to viewers, something I'm telling myself to do because I keep forgetting uh, to at least get those gems because it's the only thing that transfers over uh, to your regular base. Um, last thing on this, do you use geared up defenses at all? I have not on my Town Hall 10. I don't, but on my Town Hall 9, I do have, uh, I do use the double cannon. 
I have the double cannon. I'm not Builder Hall 6, so I don't have access to the geared up Archer Tower, which shoots, you know, at a shorter range, but faster, more damage. Right. Uh, but I do have the double cannon on my Town Hall 9. Okay, cool. I think the double cannon is good because it, um, it kills hogs quicker. It kills bowlers quicker if it locks onto a bowler. Um, so it has its benefits because Town Hall 9... Um, unlike Town Hall 10, the point defense is not that um, that strong, even relative to the troops. Not and not, golem, not to mention golems too. It, it it can wreck a golem pretty quick too. Yeah, yeah. Because oftentimes there's that one cannon where the range doesn't matter as much as the damage, and that's the cannon you want to use it on. So okay, good stuff there. Um, you mentioned the troop scrolling. Something I want to see as well. Take get rid of the troops after we deploy them. Just let that bar disappear as smoothly as possible. I'd echo that. I also would like to see um, some customizable heroes. We talked off uh, recording a little bit about that. The customizable heroes where you know you spent all this time on your account. Um, let let the person customize it, have their own appearance for their heroes. Not sure how difficult that is to implement, but if, if it's pretty easy, I think that would be a cool change that people would enjoy. Oh, without a doubt. I know that was even mentioned, I, I think, um clash with ash uh i know he had mentioned it uh, i don't think he actually n knew at that point in time what the update was going to bring but i know it's been something that has been brought up you know like you just said you spend you know all this money all this time hopefully not too much money uh but you know mainly you know the countless days weeks months if not years on your base and it you know it looks like the other guys so i think customizing it somehow some way even if it was changing like a color scheme of a base, uh, I think a lot of people, you know, could play around with it and have some fun, especially the heroes. I mean, the heroes, those are like, yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's everything right there. You know, your little trophies are your heroes. So customizing them, I, I imagine it'd be in the, the realm of something, you know, that, that they'd be able to implement, you know, implement. But uh, I definitely agree with you there. That, that That'd be kind of cool. Mm hmm. So the last kind of topic I wanted to talk about, I'm going to condense it a little bit just for sake of time, was um, in terms of attacking, how that process works. Um, I, I don't think we, we want to get too much into base identification because that's a really complicated topic and it depends on the base so much. Um, right. It might get a little bit vague if we start talking about that, but... For you personally, this always seems to be a funny question. Are there any rituals you do before attacking? Um, just to give you an example of what I'm talking about, one thing I typically do, um, what, first of all, I turn on the do not disturb. Got to make sure that's not uh, on. Um, it was worse when I attacked on my phone because if you get a phone call, it's GG right there. Um, yeah, a notification is not as bad. Uh, so on the iPad, you don't get phone calls, but you can still get notifications, which can uh, ruin an attack for sure. So do not disturb. I, t I don't especially really... Especially if you, if you click on it. <laughs> yeah, especially if you tap on it. That's why it's better just to tap in the lower half of your screen if you can help it. <laughs> um, yeah, that would suck if you tap on it. But you still probably could get back into Clash of Clans if you went quick yeah. enough. Uh, it's really the phone oh, call. That... You're, probably, you're wrecked anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, most attacks you're wrecked anyway. That would be a cool attack, though, if you were able to pull it off after a notification tapping on it. Um, especially like a Discord notification, like, hey, are you going to get that attack in, like one of your clan mates? And, so, you're, and you are attacking, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so as far as my, I mean, I, I wouldn't say I have like weird, you know, rituals where I, you know, have the same, you know, I've worn the same underwear, you know, for three straight years <laughs> or nothing like that, but... I mean, I would say, um, I, I mean, I, I think I usually pop my knuckles. I think I'll pop my knuckles, just kind of get ready. Mm -hmm. You know, I definitely tap out the plan. Uh, so I know what my plan is. I'm looking at the base uh, before I hit attack, just looking at scout view. And I just, you know, what we consider is just tapping it out. You know, you just, you know, you get your golem down. Okay, wizard, 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 wizard. Okay, that's going to let that work. Let that work. Okay, wall, test wall breaker. Bam and bam, get the wall breakers down. Okay. All right, hero, bam, you know, you just kind of just walk it through Tap that it way. Out. Yeah. Yeah, just through your mind. You know, if it's a Lalo hog, whatever, the back end um, spells, you have an idea where your spells are going to go. It's usually never where you intended it to because, you know, things always change and never goes right. Um, but yeah, you just walk it through in your head. Uh, a huge tip 
you know, that I have, I tell a lot of people, obviously make sure you're bringing the right troops. Uh, you're not right. missing anything. And the easiest thing, you know, you can miss a troop, you know, here or there or a spell, you have the wrong spell, but making sure you have everything, making sure you have those five green check marks absolutely. is absolutely huge. It happens not all the time, but there's sometimes where guys attack without their heroes or they don't have their queen or they don't have, um, they don't have all their spells, you know, or they're just attacking, you know, they're going to, they're going to do a, a queen walk, but all they have is their king that shows up, you know, just things like that. So right. making sure you have those green check marks, no red, making sure you have everything before you go in and tap out your plan. One thing to add on to the tapping, cause I, I did that, but even a better technique I found is have someone put up an FC and then go through the order of deploying. So it's a completely different base, but for example, if I'm doing a queen walk, I'll drop my queen, I'll drop the five healers just to practice the scrolling and to practice the order of what I'm going to be dropping. So for someone who's watching, it looks like some kind of weird spam attacks and just dropping random stuff, but I'm dropping it in the order that I'm going to be using it in my attack. So that's right, an extra I like that element. I like that a lot. I, haven't, I mean, I've practiced like an FC on a base before I go in. If someone has, say... A similar base or hey do you have a base that has ad layouts like this despite what the rest of the base looks like right uh, stuff like that but i definitely yeah i'm i definitely agree with you that also helps if someone doesn't have access to that um definitely ta you know just tapping out your plan running through it in your head 10 times you know before you go in so you don't forget anything uh and definitely will help get that three steps. and being ready you know if, if a tesla pops here what am i going to do just being ready for the different variations the different uh possible um challenges you face mid attack if you, have, if you have a wall breaker fail and you also have a jump okay if i have a wall breaker fail okay my jump's gonna go here now my queen walks left you want her to go right you know she walks left now what do i you know how am i gonna adjust so yeah definitely looking at uh not not even adjusting on the fly like if this happens i'm going to do this uh that will also you know definitely help you right Absolutely. So, um, okay. The last bit I do is typically some kind of weird game or uh, kind of fun questionnaire at the end, just to kind of end on a high note. So I've done different things in the past, but um, this is basically a simple, would you rather? I give you two different scenarios. You tell me which one you'd rather, uh, you'd rather have. And we'll end on this. So okay. I'll let you answer first and I'll give my opinion. And they're all related to Clash of Clans. So I have three different questions. The first one being, would you rather do a war attack, you know, the, an important war attack in a very close war while sneezing every five seconds or mm. standing in the front row of a Jester and Bieber concert? I can answer first if you want to think about it for a second. <laughs> Um, every five seconds. Um, I would probably go with. Well, hold on. Let me give you some details just before you make your decision. Okay. Yeah. Go just ahead. to clarify, so the sneezing—it's not just the motion. There's the contents coming out of your nose, also. So you—it's—it's it's a full-on sneeze every five seconds, and the <laughs> the. The five seconds, there's five seconds between sneezes. It's not like from the start of the sneeze to the start of the next sneeze. It's five seconds. It's between sneezes. You have five seconds. Um, for the Justin oh, Bieber yeah. concert, um, you're in the front row. So obviously there's like a bunch of like girls pushing you and stuff. And um, it's really loud. And you have to hold on tightly to your iPad. There's a bunch of lights. It's probably like the Wi-Fi connection probably is still okay though. So uh, what would you what would you pick? Oh man, I, I would probably, I don't know. I don't think I could go to a Justin Bieber concert, dude. I, re I really, with all due respect to him, I think I'd have to just do that war attack and just tell him if I failed, like, sorry guys, I was just sneezing every five seconds. I, I I'm sick, you know, uh, I definitely, I think I would do, I think I would do the one definitely clash related. I don't think I could do a Justin Bieber cut. That would be that. I think that'd be kind of hard. That'd be pretty hard. That's a very fair answer. Um, for the sneezing, I feel like part of the problem would just be if you continuously sneeze on your iPad. Like if you try to fight through it, there's going to be such an accumulation of like snot that you're not going. It's going <laughs> to the screen's going to be 
the interface would be completely messed up. You won't be able to. I, mean, I think I, I mean I don't think I'd sneeze right on it. I think I would just right look to the side. Turn, or you know, like, turn my head one way. Yeah, I would try to do. Definitely try. I'd have to just work through it, dude. I, I agree I was like, with All that. Right, I, this, is only, this is only gonna last for three minutes. I just gotta. I just gotta. I just gotta plow through this and get it over with. And you can plan your troop deployments in groups, and like every five seconds, if you can, like you know, okay, drop my queen five healers. Sneeze, drop the first rage. Sneeze, <laughs> drop the wall breakers. Uh, you can kind of play around. Exactly. It. Yeah, I mean, your spells are definitely going to be off. I mean, execution will be horrible, but you definitely just got to give it your all and go out with a bang. Right, because if you're at the concert, some someone's going to bump their elbow on your screen, and at the front row especially, it's just not to mention. And yeah, and someone's going to see you, and yeah, it'd be it'd be all it'd be bad. Yeah, you got to keep the the more the more control is in the sneezing uh, scenario. So, um, exactly. I think we're in agreement on that one. Okay, next one. Um, would you rather do a war attack, same scenario, on the oldest iPod Touch? I'm talking the first one that had like a tiny screen. Um, it's still an iPod Touch. It's not like a Nano. The screen's not like ridiculous. But wait, wait, is, wait, is this the one where the screen's like like two inches? No, not that one. That's a different type of iPod. It's like the iPod, um, uh, something else. But this is the iPod Touch, so it still resembles a touch screen. Um. It's just really small. I think it's like a few inches each way. It's like um, like an iPhone 6, but like half as big, maybe. Oh, my God. So All right. Or, if, or, or a screen that's uh, nine feet across and six feet tall. <laughs> just oh like on, on your wall. Like that's on your oh. wall. Right. I... Oh man, I would have to go with that's a hard one. I'd probably have to go with nine feet. I mean, I don't think I could. I would have to, I think I'd have to do, I think I'd have to do the iPad touch. Yeah, I, I think, right? yeah, I think under that, yeah. Oh, but imagine your scroll bar on the iPod touch. Oh man, it's like one <laughs> troop per. <laughs> you need like oh. a, um, a, a table of contents to find your troops. That would be, yeah. I mean, both would be hard, but I would definitely say that, yeah, the one, the nine foot, that'd be hard because you'd have to, you'd have to run across. Imagining a Lalo, you'd have to run across. I mean, well, that, I you feel know, like with that attacking, one, you're, you're, if you're attacking in the upper left and you need to get your haste, you have to run <laughs> like five feet. Right. You know, be, you're going to be like kneeling down for the scroll bar, which would be like the bottom foot of the, of, of the screen. Then you're reaching up high. Um, I guess I could six feet. It would have to be some sort of a spam attack, though, without a doubt. Yeah, that's true. If it's a spam attack, it's easier. I think with the big screen, the issue is just how slow you're going to be. With the small screen, the issue is being able to accurately deploy stuff in the right space. Right. Yeah. The, the big screen would definitely have to be some sort of a a queen walk or you know right. so, something like that. But imagine how accurate your earthquakes would be on a big screen. I mean, you could. <laughs> Your poison, your jump. I mean, you'd hit the tile. I mean, the right. tile would be because your head. The first ten tile jump. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you would not miss the 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 eight tile quake. That's right. for sure. Right. Um, I like I like that one though. I would, to answer the question though, I would definitely go. Now that I think about it more, I definitely have to go with the the two by two. Uh, the the little screen. Stuff. Yeah, I think that's true. Just zone in. Um, just light with the fingers. Get it done. Um, okay, last one is for base building. Um, I was thinking, what would be a fair where you could make an argument for either for either side? And I think I got it about where I want it. Would you rather have? Uh, let's see. The first option is we're talking Town Hall Ten. Would you rather have to build a base with only one Inferno Tower? So your minus one Inferno Tower, obviously, going to be a lot weaker. Or would you rather be able to have all your different buildings, but you only have two minutes to build the base? And if everything's not down, it's just, it's gone. So you have, you have two minutes to build the base, or you have infinite amount of time, as much time as you need, but you only have one Inferno Tower. I think I would go with, oh man, two minutes, and this is Town Hall 10, right? This is a Town Hall 10 base. I mean, these typically I take would, hours to build. 
Right. I think I'd still go. I think I could make something work with one IT. I think I could still maybe do something. But in two minutes, I mean, that yeah, that'd be really tough. Because then, I mean, I think I would you'd just get rolled on because you wouldn't be able to strategize right. you know, where, you, where you put everything. But having unlimited time with one IT, you know, we could just have some, you know, some kill zones set up, have a nice Tesla farm waiting for them. I think we could get it to defend. Yeah. I mean, if, especially if it's a max town hall 10, it still wouldn't be a walk in the park. Um, I had exactly. one of my infernos on single target and it was it held four, four for four, 10 v 10 attempts, one war. So that's, I've, yeah, that's, a, that's a, I mean, we could have talked about that earlier, but yeah, that's, that's what, that is one other interesting thing is, you know, does a single target IT have, have its place or even messing around with, you know, having one multi one single, that's that, that you bring up a really good point, you know, maybe in another video or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's worth a discussion at some point. Um, but with, with respect to the question, I think I also would agree with you. Um, the two minutes, I feel like you'd be lucky to get everything down in two minutes, not to mention right. making it look like a base. Right. I mean, you know, you know the, the base I could make would be the ones, um, you know, where you're warring like Indo Farm 3 or something like that, where, you know, where you have all the walls on one side. Or they ask you to put out the, the top tower, 10 wall. You know, kind of like a progress base. That you could probably do in, you know, in two minutes, but you just get wrecked with Valks or something. But yeah. Uh, I think the one IT, I think we can make something work for sure, Bisect, for sure. Okay, great. So I think we're in agreement on all three of these. Very good. I wasn't expecting that. Um, that worked out good. Well, anyway, I mean, that's all I had to talk about. Um, let's see, we're going over an hour here. I think what I'm going to do is I'll just, I'll make it one big video, but it's just going to be a podcast style. And I'll make the file a lot smaller. So I'll probably add like a intro thing at the beginning here that you guys will hear. Um, which will just say like it's going to be a podcast style, uh, not going to have any attacks to show. So uh, plug it in while you're doing something else that so you can just listen to it. I do that right. with uh, with rigs is um, predictions and recaps anyway. So uh, should yeah. be fine. But anyway, rigs, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Uh, it's it's great to be able to just discuss the game and um, yeah yeah thanks for coming on. Yeah, I had honestly, I had a, I had a lot of fun, and I mean, hopefully, you know, it won't be this long, but you know, it's definitely, you know, let's let's start working at it, get some, you know, get some videos out. Um, definitely, there's, I mean, th this could have gone, this could have gone even longer, uh, but definitely had a lot of fun. De you know, thank you, you know, for inviting me on, uh, and I had, like I said, just listen to the video. We had a ton of fun um you know uh you know talking clash and yeah definitely thanks thanks for having me dude yep my pleasure so anyway guys um next month october gonna have um same thing we have the patreon perks come out so um before october 1st if you want to be in the next expert interview video alongside me and whoever the next expert is who you can help me choose ask questions to just discuss the game as you saw here uh, make sure to check out my patreon page but anyway that will do it for this video thanks to rigs thanks to sub zero our patreon sponsor let's call him um who was in the top tier uh for the last month so that is it for the september expert interview video until next time bisectatron and rigs out